Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Star Wars Lads. I've got my review for you all for X-Wing Iron Fist. If you haven't checked out my review for Wraith Squadron, check that out. As I said in that video, we're going to start covering a lot more of these Essential Legends books when they are released. We've read so many of them, but we just have never reviewed them on the channel. So here's our chance to get to talk about them. And I love the X-Wing series, so I can't wait to talk about Iron Fist. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Star Wars content like this. We cover a variety of Legends topics as well as every new canon book when they come out so make sure you stay with the channel for all that great stuff all right without any further ado let's just get in to the story and i always start here reviewing the plot the narrative the writing all of the stuff that makes up the book of x-wing iron fist in this case so let's talk about how aaron alston wrote this book i do really enjoy aaron alston's writing in a lot of ways it's a little less technical than michael stackpole's in here he does a great job of carrying character throughout this story iron fist is set up very differently than wraith squadron it was something that at first took me a bit to get used to and a bit to get into the story but once i was in i was really in this story is very compelling it's a lot shorter than wraith squadron too and i think that helps out with the pace. They're wonderful dogfights, but above all, Iron Fist is definitely a character book, and it focuses on a lot of characters that are not the leads from Wraith Squadron. Wraith Squadron heavily focused on obviously Wedge, but also Kel Tainer, Tyria Sarkin. Here in Iron Fist, you focus on a lot of the supplementary characters, characters who were great in supporting roles in the last book, like Face Loran and Ton Fainan, and here they become mainstays, like Ton Fainan and Face Loran are arguably the two leads of this story, and I really loved what Alston did with both characters. Echoing what I said about Wraith Squadron's stakes, the characters in it are not safe. A lot of people die in Wraith Squadron, and the same thing happens here in Iron Fist. Nobody is safe, and I was shocked with some of the character deaths here, and all of them were written so well. It's not just a book that uses cheap character deaths to get emotion out of the reader. They're earned, and these characters go through incredible arcs, and a lot of these side characters here are put in the forefront and they have to deal with the tragedy of finally finding a family and losing some of these members along the way. Alston once again does an incredible job of getting you attached to characters and he does such a great job of making you feel it when we lose some of them. The villains are a big step up in this one as well. I thought the villain writing was a bit more compelling, a bit more interesting. The focus away from Trigut to Zinj in this book was a lot more interesting considering Zinj is our big bad, our Isard of this trilogy. We'll talk a bit more about each individual character that I loved next, but I did think Alston added a lot more tension by including the villains more at the forefront this time, especially our main big bad. The X-Wing books also always have some pretty good humor, and I think Alston picks it up well, especially with this more ragtag group of characters. The humor is a bit more offbeat. Let's get into those characters, because like I said, Iron Fist really is carried by the characters. Not that the plot is interesting, it is, but the plot is a bit more basic than Wraith Squadron's plot. It's a little less expansive it is the middle chapter so it pulls back in a lot of ways but we do deal with the the weight of a lot of this mission on these characters as i mentioned earlier kel tainer is good in this book but he is definitely a side character here he's off on a lot of missions on his own not really in the pages of this book and when he is on the pages when you are reading it you are compelled by what he does because you like him from the last book hopefully Tyria sarkin is basically absent from this book i did think that was a bit of a miss at least kel has some big moments but Tyria basically has nothing because of some of the deaths in wraith squadron there are three main new characters that join the plot of this book first you have Kasten gone who's a slicer but definitely a hardhead somebody who doesn't really listen to authority there's also another human character shala nel prin kind of a war Warrior, and I think adds another dimension to that ground element of combat. And then there's the Twi'lek Dia Pasek, who has some big standout moments in this book, and I thought was written very well. Then there's also the reintroduction of Gareth Pedithil, who is a character, a minor character in Wraith Squadron, and carries over into this book. I won't really spoil what her role is, but I thought her arc was one of the more compelling ones. At the beginning, I thought, okay, we're kind of going in a very simplistic direction. I can kind of see where all these plot beats are going. But I thought Alston did a pretty good job of differentiating it when we get to kind of those more predictable moments. This character is still interesting, still compelling, and will have a lot more stuff to do in Solo Command. Like I mentioned, Zinj is the main villain in the story, and it is nice to get a lot more page time for Zinj. Zinj is definitely a 
different type of villain from Isard. He's suave, sophisticated, really into himself and money. So those were all the new characters to talk about, and I thought most of them were pretty compelling in their own right. Like I mentioned, Face Loran and Ton Fainan. Those two characters are excellent in this book, and Face was one of my favorite standout side characters from the last book, but here he really is kind of the lead of the book, and I thought they did a wonderful job with this character. There are so many layers to Face. He was a former child actor for the Empire, and he carries a lot of guilt about some of the propagandistic things he did for the Empire unknowingly when he was a kid. And that plays to a lot of his role in the Rebellion, in the Wraith Squadron. He's often in charge of creating disguises for them or infiltrating, doing espionage missions. And all of those missions in the story are great, but it is his connection with Ton Fane and kind of that odd couple duo that works so well. It's one of the heart and soul pieces of this story, and I truly loved it. Ton is a great foil to Kel in the last book, but here he really has a lot more heart. You get kind of under the prosthetics, the fact that he has to be rebuilt with cybernetics rather than getting the more humanoid looking prosthetics like you see Luke have in episode five. He's scary looking and you get a lot more of the weight of what he feels day to day in this story. Runt was the other side character who was fun in the last book but didn't have that much to do here. Runt is a big standout, a lot of funny moments, a lot of very heartfelt moments come from Runt, and I thought they did a good job of elevating that character. So to wrap up my review, I'm going to give Iron Fist four and a half out of five. I really, really loved this book, and this is easily one of my favorite books in this entire series. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button and comment below if you'd like to see more Legends reviews like this. As I mentioned in the last video, we usually do a Legends book club where we go a lot more in depth and it usually features me and Senek. Our plan is to do Rogue Squadron for the next one so Senate can kind of catch up with me and talk about the rest of these X-Wing books as well. And I will be doing Solo Command here in November when we get to the Essential Legends collection release for it. But if you want to see any other Essential Legends books or ones that haven't been in Essential Legends collections and you just want to hear me talk about it in a short review like this, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all next time.